the shift towards electric vehicles marks one of the most significant transformations in the transportation sector in recent decades. This change is driven by the urgent need to cut greenhouse gas emissions, combat climate change, and enhance air quality in urban areas. With rapidly evolving technologies and growing environmental awareness, countries are implementing measures and policies to encourage the adoption of electric vehicles. Norway, in particular, stands as a leading example in this transition. Through a mix of government incentives, a strong infrastructure, and an energy grid dominated by renewable sources, the Scandinavian country has achieved remarkably high electric vehicle adoption rates. Norway's leadership provides a valuable blueprint for other nations aiming to decrease their reliance on fossil fuels and promote cleaner, more sustainable transportation technologies. Examining Norway's strategies not only demonstrates the potential of electric vehicles to revolutionize the automotive industry but also highlights the challenges and opportunities associated with transport electrification. Today, we'll explore how Norway reached its impressive adoption figures, the impacts of this shift on city life, and how these lessons can be globally applied to accelerate the move towards greener, more sustainable mobility. Norway's Electric Vehicle Advancement Electric vehicles dominate in Norway, which boasts the highest adoption rate of these vehicles globally. Last year, 82% of all new cars sold were electric. This figure rises to over 90% when including plug-in hybrids. The country has set the ambitious goal that by 2025, all new cars will be zero emission, a target believed to be within reach. In the United States, only 7.6% of new car sales were electric in 2023, while in China, the figure was 24%. By the end of the year, all public transport in Oslo will be zero emission, replacing gas pumps and parking meters with chargers. Thanks to hydropower, which accounts for nearly 100% of Norway's electricity, the country has easily adapted to the increased electricity demand from vehicles. Electric cars are significantly cheaper compared to gasoline cars, offering a major economic advantage. However, the rapid adoption has led to an increase in the total number of cars, posing challenges. Norway's high electric vehicle adoption rate contrasts with other countries and raises the question of how they can learn from the Norwegian example. In Oslo, the presence of electric cars is striking, with nearly all vehicles on the streets being electric, easily identified by license plates starting with E. Tesla is extremely popular in Norway, holding a 20% market share in 2023. In California, the state with the highest adoption of electric vehicles in the United States, 21.5% of new car sales were electric last year, a rate that still places California behind Oslo, where chargers are plentiful and air quality is notably better. Some Norwegian citizens still use gasoline cars, especially those unable to afford a new vehicle or concerned about electric vehicle range on long trips. However, most are on their second or third electric car and do not miss gasoline vehicles, highlighting primarily the high cost of fuel as a deterrent. Norway's leadership in electric vehicle adoption results from policies consistently implemented over two decades. Since 1990, the government introduced various measures, including tax incentives and exemptions from value-added tax. These policies established a strong governmental commitment to green mobility, aiming to achieve the 2025 goal for all new cars to be zero emission. Impact of electric cars in Norway Indiana Norway, a 25% value-added tax is applied to every item purchased. The exemption of this tax for electric vehicles had a significant impact. Initially, despite the incentives, little change occurred due to the limited availability of these vehicles. The situation began to change with the arrival of companies like Tesla, which boosted electric car sales in the country. Over the past decade, there has been a considerable increase in electric adoption. Currently, 80% of new cars sold are zero emission. The remaining 20% are divided between plug-in hybrids and a few gasoline models. In Norway, new polluting cars face high taxes, while electric ones are completely exempt. This policy made electric cars as affordable as gasoline or diesel cars. Additional benefits include toll discounts, free parking in certain cities, and access to bus lanes, making electrics an attractive option. 
The Norwegian Electric Vehicle Association, founded in 1995, provides consumer support with over 50 employees and a call center focused on assisting new electric car owners. Purchasing an electric car is streamlined, involving only the vehicle's cost. Electric vehicles offer not just a lower purchase price but also reduced operating costs, such as a smaller electricity bill compared to diesel and gasoline. Facilitating and reducing costs for choosing electric cars are primary goals in Norway. Questions about potential negative effects of the incentives arise, but so far, the program has proven successful. However, as a consequence, there has been an increase in car usage at the expense of public transport. To mitigate this, adjustments were made to public transport pricing, making it a competitive alternative. Funding for these incentives comes from the state budget, with an annual expense of about 40 billion and OK. The per capita tax benefits highlight Norway's commitment to sustainable mobility. Despite being a leading exporter of oil and gas, Norway has a robust emission reduction target, planning a 55% reduction by 2030, aligned with European Union goals. Beyond electric cars, Norway plans to expand its wind energy production, aiming for a gradual energy transition. Nearly a quarter of cars in the country are fully electric, and the demand for fossil fuels is declining, indicating a potentially challenging future for the global oil industry. The Norges Bank Investment Management, the world's largest investor, exemplifies Norway's long-term approach to sustainable investments. Frere, a battery company, is building factories in northern Norway and the United States, aimed at supporting renewable energy infrastructures, demonstrating Norwegian planning for the energy future while balancing its petroleum legacy with robust environmental commitments. Forward-thinking pioneers are diligently seeking innovative approaches to optimize market effectiveness for the foreseeable future, anticipating that such strategies will be embraced by governments across Europe, Norway, and the United States. When considering the factors that influence the purchase of electric vehicles, one might assume that environmental concerns would be the primary driver. However, the reality is that vehicle costs play a more significant role in the decision-making process. While the reduction of carbon emissions serves as an additional attractive feature, valued by a specific segment of consumers, economic aspects emerge as the primary motivating factor. Future objectives encompass the phasing out of fiscal incentives for plug-in hybrid vehicles, aligning them with gasoline-powered cars within the taxation framework. In Norway, the adoption of electric vehicles is encouraged through cost reductions in comparison to gasoline-powered vehicles. Support for charging infrastructure, initially heavily subsidized, now receives fewer incentives, although subsidies persist in rural areas, contributing to the expansion of the charging network. Companies such as Mare Norway have installed over 35,000 fast chargers throughout Europe, while Tesla pioneered the region with its network of superchargers, recently opened to vehicles from other brands, benefiting a broader user base. The integration of new participants in the charging market, such as fast food chains competing with traditional gas stations, demonstrates an evolution in the sector. The cost of establishing a charging station can vary significantly, particularly depending on the number of charging points and the required capacity of the electrical grid. Recharge, a company with over a decade of experience, has received substantial investments in infrastructure, with expectations of future profitability. In Norway, the introduction of electric vehicles preceded the availability of adequate charging infrastructure, prompting many owners to opt for home charging. In Oslo, substantial investments have been made to develop a comprehensive charging infrastructure, including the installation of chargers in public parking facilities. The city has also transformed its public transportation system to operate exclusively with electric vehicles, including the electrification of ferries that now utilize renewable, emission-free hydroelectric power. Initially, these installations were funded by the municipality, but they currently operate with a small fee paid by users, minimizing the impact on taxpayers. These initiatives not only promote a sustainable market but also establish Norway and the city of Oslo as leaders in transportation electrification in Europe. Innovations in Electric Transportation Norway has benefited from hydroelectric power for approximately 120 years, providing a stable energy source compared to others that are more dependent on climatic conditions. 
the country's wind power production capacity is scheduled to double by the year 2040. The construction of new facilities for these energy sources requires agreements with landowners and approval from authorities. Challenges exist, such as an already saturated electrical infrastructure, but solutions are being found through collaboration with network companies, despite the ongoing investment required to ensure adequate electrical connections in critical areas. Fuel stations, now converted into energy stations, are increasingly investing in the installation of electric chargers. Circle K, a major gas station chain, is leading this change, transforming the fast-charging sector into a fully commercial market. Since 2016, the demand for fossil fuels has fallen by more than 20% in Norway, incentivizing gas stations to install fast chargers to attract customers. They offer better profit margins through sales of food and beverages during the charging wait time. Some stations share the costs and revenues of the charging facilities. However, the reliability of chargers has been a concern, with users reporting queues and malfunctioning chargers. The more mature market has reduced these issues, but payment systems now emerge as a primary challenge, with multiple applications and methods required for each charging company, which can be confusing, especially for new electric vehicle users. Difficulties with chargers include issues with Tesla's new V4 superchargers, which, despite being designed to be universal, have shown flaws. The need to download specific apps to activate charging complicates the process. In the United States, similar challenges are faced, with the need to simplify the charging process to promote mass adoption. Norway is leading with regulations that facilitate the installation of accessible payment terminals on chargers, an initiative that is also being adopted by the European Union. After overcoming initial obstacles, the efficiency and speed of charging are surprising, demonstrating the practicality of the Norwegian system, where it is possible to charge at various locations. Tesla's new V4 superchargers, launched in Norway before the United States, stand out for their efficiency, charging vehicles quickly and significantly reducing the time required for frequent recharges. This efficiency is transforming the driving experience, making electric vehicles a more practical and attractive option than combustion vehicles, with the added benefit of reduced energy costs. During the summer months, it is common for people to embark on journeys to the northern regions of Sweden and Norway, areas where many have family ties. Throughout these trips, range anxiety regarding electric cars may manifest itself, particularly in rural locations where charging stations are scarce. This concern intensifies when returning to the airport at the conclusion of the voyage. It is suggested that rental companies reconsider the requirement of returning vehicles fully charged, as not all users have the ability to charge the cars at their homes. Range anxiety is not a novel concept. The inaugural models of electric cars, such as the first-generation Nissan LEAF, encountered limitations, especially during the winter season. The batteries necessitated frequent recharging, but technological advancements have significantly mitigated this issue. Many individuals question the effectiveness of electric vehicles in winter conditions. However, they offer the advantage of being able to be preheated, creating a cozy environment for occupants. The efficiency of batteries may decrease in cold temperatures, but with larger battery capacities, preheating capabilities, and an enhanced charging infrastructure, the challenges are minimized. In Norway, incentives for the utilization of electric vehicles are undergoing revisions. Policies that allowed electric cars to use bus lanes are becoming more restrictive due to the increase in traffic congestion. Subsidies such as discounts for parking, ferry usage, and tolls are being reduced as electric cars become the norm. This reflects a decline in CO2 tax revenue resulting from the decrease in sales of polluting vehicles, leading to the necessity of adjusting incentives. There is an ongoing debate regarding the environmental impact of electric cars compared to gasoline-powered vehicles. It is argued that the transition should not be accelerated beyond what is necessary to avoid an unnecessary increase in the number of cars and to allow current vehicles to be utilized until the end of their lifespan. The environmental aspects of car production should be taken into consideration in future environmental policies. There is a substantial market for used electric cars in Norway. Even after extensive mileage, the vehicles exhibit minimal battery degradation, 
especially if precautions such as limiting charging to 80% are observed. It is common to think of electric cars and their charging in a manner similar to conventional cars, which require visits to gas stations. However, approximately 90% of the charging for an electric vehicle occurs at residences, significantly altering the refueling paradigm. Electric vehicles offer a cleaner and more sustainable alternative to fossil fuel-powered vehicles. With the growing adoption of electric vehicles, the need for fossil fuels can be reduced, promoting a more environmentally friendly and sustainable energy transition. But what do you think about this? We want to hear your opinion in the comments below. The shift towards sustainable transportation. The transition to electric vehicles represents a significant step towards a more sustainable future. As concerns about climate change and environmental degradation continue to grow, the need for cleaner modes of transportation becomes increasingly evident. Electric vehicles offer a promising solution, as they emit zero tailpipe emissions and have the potential to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions when powered by renewable energy sources. Governments and policymakers around the world are recognizing the importance of promoting the adoption of electric vehicles. Many countries have set ambitious targets for phasing out the sale of new gasoline and diesel-powered vehicles in the coming decades. These targets are supported by various incentives and policies designed to make electric vehicles more affordable and accessible to consumers. In addition to government initiatives, the private sector is also playing a crucial role in driving the shift towards electric vehicles. Automakers are investing heavily in the development of new electric models, with many pledging to transition their entire product lines to electric in the near future. This increased competition and innovation in the electric vehicle market are leading to improved performance, longer driving ranges, and lower costs. The benefits of electric vehicles extend beyond their environmental impact. They offer a quieter and smoother driving experience compared to traditional internal combustion engine vehicles. Electric motors provide instant torque, resulting in quick acceleration and responsive performance. Additionally, electric vehicles typically have lower maintenance costs due to fewer moving parts and the absence of regular oil changes. However, the widespread adoption of electric vehicles is not without challenges. One of the primary concerns is the availability and accessibility of charging infrastructure. While the number of charging stations is growing rapidly, there is still a need for more widespread deployment, particularly in rural and remote areas. Governments and private companies are working to address this issue by investing in the expansion of charging networks and developing innovative solutions such as wireless charging and battery swapping stations. Another challenge is the initial cost of electric vehicles, which can be higher than their gasoline-powered counterparts. However, as battery technology improves and production scales up, the cost of electric vehicles is expected to continue decreasing. Many countries offer financial incentives, such as tax credits and subsidies, to make electric vehicles more affordable for consumers. The shift towards electric vehicles also presents opportunities for job creation and economic growth. The development and manufacturing of electric vehicles and their components, as well as the installation and maintenance of charging infrastructure, are creating new employment opportunities in the automotive and energy sectors. Additionally, the transition to electric vehicles can help reduce dependence on foreign oil imports, enhancing energy security and economic stability. As the world moves towards a more sustainable future, the role of electric vehicles in reducing emissions and combating climate change cannot be overstated. While challenges remain, the rapid advancements in technology, growing consumer awareness, and supportive policies are paving the way for a cleaner and more sustainable transportation system. It is up to all of us, governments, businesses, and individuals, to embrace this transition and work together to create a greener and more prosperous future for generations to come.